Hello everyone, it's me, Wilkie, here with another episode of Dragalia Lost, another episode, another video on Dragalia Lost. Uh, today we will be, I will finally be uh, taking down the last of the Fate, Fire, Fate, I gotta stop saying Fate, Fire Emblem Hero, it's not even super late, I can't even use that excuse. The last of the f uh, Fire Emblem crossover character is Fjorm, she's a spear unit and she is blue. And she's also attack. I think every single one of them has been attacked. Let's look at her skills real quick. She has frigid smash. She deals water damage to enemies directly ahead and inflicts freeze. She has ice mirror, which summons an ice mirror that deals water damage to the target and nearby enemies. Additional bonus damage will be dealt based on how much damage she's taken while ice mirror is active. And that's something from her weapon, so it doesn't matter. She has a co-op ability, which is the HP percentage goes up. And her abilities are Last Bravery, which increases the entire team's strength by 30%, and Defense by 40% for 15 seconds when she dips below 30% HP. She has 100% Burn Resistance, and her skill prep is at 75%. Alright, so let's go straight into uh, a Dragon Trial as we show her off. I will say right now, the Dragon Trial for um, Brian, Bryn, Brynhilda is open i'm just not strong enough yet to take it on i don't have the actual uh thing i need to be able to play it so we'll not be trying to play that mode i'm not trained in it so sorry about that uh, we'll go into here though but i will say again i did consult with my good friend lerp uh shout out to lerp and this is what he he actually believes that uh fjorm is better than uh marth and the reasons were is that her skill one has basically a super active uh frost on her which makes her basically like lily and at 75 percent uh prep time that means you can basically start inflicting frost right away hopefully i'll be able to show it and then ice mirror is just so crazy strong if you time it right the more damage you take the more um it's similar her skill too is similar to what veronica has which makes her high risk high reward so you know we'll Oh man, I'm playing terribly. There, she's frozen. And that exactly why is one of the reasons why Fjorm is so good. See if I was smart I would have started taking damage right there. Let me see if I can time it so I can take damage right at the right time. Okay, so let me see. No, I wasn't able to do it right. If I was able to time it right I would have been able to take damage and then inflict damage to uh brain here oh man i'm just fucking up left and right on this one and then i hit the fuck keep hitting the damn fire stop hitting the stupid fire there we go oops i think i might have gotten a message right there but it's fine Sit, leave me alone sister i'm trying to it's already too late brian is dead this is all over uh, let me go into the higher trial and maybe I'll see what I mean. But as you can see here, no real problems when grinding this event. A lot of people don't really have much problems, but you know, whatever helps. You can actually do single uh, H brine pretty easy too. I'd, I could, I should have actually shown that off. Whatever. You can do it pretty easy though. Let's get into the IO. And the IO is actually where she might have a little bit of problems. So for IO... This is for uh, the Empire Imperial Onslaught for specifically fire. This is where Xander is basically king. Either you use Xander or you use Lily. That's really all it really was for a very long time. But yeah, uh, Fjorm is easily the second. It's like her and Marth. If, I still think that Marth is number one, but if there was a number two and it's like not that far off, it's it's Fjorm. She's just so strong. Her skill too is insane if you time it right. As you can see there, I didn't time it right. But I'm going to see if I can time it right here. here we go. Uh, you still take damage, which is something you need to take on. So don't go two balls out thinking that like, oh man, I can tank this hit. Don't be stupid. You should be smart about it. But if you time it right, you should be able to do just a buttload of damage on them. Because any damage you would take is automatically to given to them. Or any damage you would have received or whatever. Alright, let's see. And again, that's skill one. There is no counting the fact that that's just a fantastic skill one. I don't think... I think it's one of the best skill ones out there. Right next to Lily's. And all the best water units have the ability to freeze right away. Alright, let's see. Let's dodge this Phantom Assault. 
freeze. Alright, let's see. I need him to get out of it. Okay. Alright, let's... Again, did not time that right. Terrible timing on my part, really. See, that would have been a good move to, like, actually do it against him. Let's see. Oh, the Phantom Assault. Oh, I was able to dodge the Phantom Assault. Alright, see, so she tanks it, she tanks it, she tanks it, and then... Oh. This is the problem of why you don't really want to run her here. It's because she can get stunned. Alright, it's over. Let's quickly kill him. But yeah, the Fjorm, if you get her, she's easily... I think she's a good candidate to build up for uh, Bra uh, Brunhilde. I keep wanting to call her Brian, but that's not how you pronounce it. Let me, go, let me throw a good job. Good job there. Um... In general, she's an extremely good unit to have because of her HP uh, co-ability, and any time you get more HP, the better. There's a bunch of units I know specifically for certain events, like, especially some later events that you'll eventually get to do as the game gets... There's certain events where you just need that HP, especially for water, because water is so built up, they specifically make water events harder, because they expect you to have an extremely good unit. And in terms of competition, she doesn't really have any. There's one other 5-star Lancer, but you would run her over her. <laughs> run her over him, I mean. Uh, so yeah. She's definitely one of the, the one of the best water units in the game. And then also, in terms of the uh, crossover banner, I would say she's second quickly behind Marth. I really do think there is a case you could make for her to be better than Marth. I just wish that I actually had the prep time to see it. Uh, but the counter effect is really good as long as you don't get as long as you aren't too stupid with what you're doing If you get knocked out of it by your purple move, then you're gonna be kind of screwed out of it There's like no way of stopping it unfortunately, so don't try and get stunned and stuff like that But yeah, that's all the crossover characters. I hope you've enjoyed uh, Me trying to do something different with Dragalia Lost and I'll keep keep it on with Dragalia Lost I don't know what to do next. I'll figure it out though You know if you have any uh, questions about what you would see next from Jagelia Lost, I do have some planned stuff to go up for, like some stuff, some All good tips to play the game and be super free to play, because that's how I am with this game. I didn't even have to buy the Platinum Summon to get all of my uh, Fire Emblem characters. Oh, well, let me see and quickly show it off. See? Never did it. Never did this either. But yeah. Alright, guys. I'll see you on the next... Uh, thing I do. So you have a nice day out there. Goodbye.